Good evening and welcome to this service of Celtic Evening Liturgy. This is a service that I've adapted from the Iona community. If you were in the cathedral on Iona, you might experience this service uh, a little bit later in the afternoon as the evening begins to fall. So uh, I'm glad you're with us and I hope that you'll find this to be a, a meaningful time of evening prayer. I suggested that you might want to have available a candle a Bible, and a cross, and I hope that you will do with those what I will be doing here, and you can join me in that way, and we can be our virtual congregation together. So, I invite you to join me in the opening sentences. Come to this night, O God, come to us with light. And I invite you to light your candle in a central place where you are this evening. Speak to us this night, O God. Speak to us your truth. And I invite you to place your Bible in a central place. Dwell with us this night, O God. Dwell with us in love. and you may place your cross in a central place. Now will you join me in the prayer of thanksgiving. Thanks be to you, O Christ, for the many gifts you have bestowed on us, each day and night, each sea and land, each weather fair, each calm, each wild. Each night may we remember your mercy given so gently and generously. Each thing we have received, from you it came. Each thing for which we hope, from your love it will come. Each thing we enjoy, it is of your bounty. Each thing we ask, come of your disposing. O God, from whom each thing that is freely flows, grant that no tie over strict, no tie over dear, may be between ourselves and this world. Amen. Our evening psalm is a responsive reading of Psalm 42. I invite you to join me. O God, as these words are read, in our hearts may we feel your presence. As a deer longs for flowing streams, so my soul longs for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and behold the face of God? My tears have been my food day and night, while people say to me continually, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I went with the throng and led them in procession to the house of God, with glad shouts and songs of thanksgiving, a multitude keeping festival. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God. My soul is cast down within me, therefore I remember you from the land of Jordan and of Hermon from Mount Mizar. Deep calls to deep at the thunder of your cataracts. All your waves and your billows have gone over me. By day the Lord commands his steadfast love, and at night his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I walk about mournfully, because the enemy oppresses me? As with a deadly wound in my body, my adversaries taunt me, while they say to me continually, where is your God? Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God.
The evening lesson is taken from Mark's Gospel. We're reading from the fourth chapter, verses 35 through 41. O oh God, as these words are read, in our hearts may we feel your presence. On that day, when evening had come, Jesus said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with him in the boat, just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat so that the boat was already being swamped. But Jesus was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased, and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And when they were filled with great awe, they said to one another, Who is this that even the wind and sea obey him? Will you join me in the affirmation of faith? We believe, O God of all gods, that you are the eternal God of life. We believe, O God of all gods, that you are the eternal God of love. We believe, O God and maker of all creation, that you are the creator of the high heavens, that you are the creator of the deep seas, that you are the creator of the stable earth. We believe, O God, of all the peoples, that you created our souls and set their warp, that you created our bodies and gave them breath, that you made us in your own image. We give you our worship with our whole lives. We give you our assent with our whole power. We give you our existence with our whole mind. We give you our being with our whole desire. And now we come to our time for prayer. I invite you again to join me. O Christ, kindle in our hearts within a flame of love to our neighbor, to our foes, to our friends, to our kindred all. O Christ of the poor and the yearning, from the humblest things that lives to the name that is highest of all, kindle in our hearts within a flame of love. For those who are sheltering alone. For those who are anxious because of uncertainty. for medical personnel and for researchers who are working though exhausted. For all those who are already ill For those who are mourning loved ones lost. For those who fail to take the necessary precautions. For those who are adjusting to new technologies.
for those trying to do their best, even when it is hard and even when it seems unappreciated. For those who seek the truth, For those facing difficult moments and difficult decisions in an already difficult time. We are placing our souls and our bodies under your guarding this night, O Christ. O son of the tears, of the wounds, of the piercings, may your cross this night be shielding all. Again, I thank you for being with us this evening. We'll be broadcasting now from here in my home, as we do not want to uh, take the chance of going back outside and going back to the church for services. Robert will be presenting an organ concert tomorrow at noon. I hope you'll tune in on the Facebook page. And we will be involved in worship again this weekend through our virtual congregation at 8.30 and 10.30. I hope you'll be with us. And now will you join me in the blessing? Be the great God between your shoulders to protect you in your going out and in your coming in. Be the Son of Mary near your heart and be the perfect spirit upon you pouring. Amen. Amen. Stay well, rest well, be well.